Welcome to today's Ask Me The News where some very strange developments have occurred in the centre of Dublin today. Onlookers were unsure at the first if it was some kind of street performance but then as the first shots were fired at 1.15pm there was a little doubt about the seriousness of the situation. We will now speak to Luke, our correspondent at the GPO. I started to unfold there since 12.30 this, this afternoon and I've quickly turned into a very violent and sinister nature. As the British 6th Reserve Cavalry Regiment marched through O'Connell Street and shots were fired by occupants of the GPO. There were reports of some casualties but we can't yet confirm the number of people injured or killed in the firefight. It appears that there were now reports of shots being fired in Fairview while Jacob's factory and Bowling's Mill have fallen into the ha hands of Sinn Feiners. The British are now focused their coordinated locations of the rebels. A lead story overnight, the rebels have resisted the attempts of British military to overpower them. Recruits have been drafted in from the uh, right of fighting inclines, particularly around the rebels' stronghold, the GP. Rebels have been forced to retreat from stone of their lodestone due to the overwhelming strength of the British military. We have entered the third day of fighting here in Dublin city centre. Today I'm reporting from outside Clary's where the Irish citizen army have hoisted their flag above the building. The British have reinforced their troops with two infantry brigades land from Dunleary this morning and the arrival of the outlook delivery. The damage and destruction resulting from the prolonged shelling of the city centre has left many of the buildings around. There are reports of 234 British soldiers killed or wounded in the fight as well as many civilian and civilian casualties. It is clear that the fighting is now drawing to a conclusion. The rebel strongholds have been devastated by artillery fire from the Helga. The reports are that James Connolly, leader of ICA, has been severely wounded and lies in agony on a stretcher. The rising has finally been defeated as the city lies in ruins. The cost of the damage will run into millions of pounds. Lives and businesses have been utterly destroyed. Today, the leaders of the Rising were led their surrender through the brave and thoughtless Elizabeth O'Farrell. She bravely held a handkerchief to, the, to a stick above her head, seeking the surrender. Thanks, Dion. See you back in the studio. At 2.30 p.m., Pierce himself handed over his pistol and saw the General Lowe and signed an official surrender document.